Hey guys, Heavy Arms 45 here. Um, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all another story about me in campaigns. And this one was, I was in the campaign, but I wasn't in the campaign. At this point, um, this is before Javo didn't have DM back when I was still in college. Um, my, I worked a lot of different nights. So, working at nights, I always was going to be a little bit late coming to the campaigns because they always started at 7 and I didn't get off work till about 8 or 9. So, I decided, my friends were like, well, since we know you're coming, we'll go ahead and let you come. And, you know, we're probably going to be just, it takes us about an hour to go ahead and get the story started. So, we'll wait on you. So they would wait for me to come and wherever they were at, Jawa would magically be there. And we had to basically explain away why Jawa was not would be there at some point and wouldn't be there. And the answer was dwarf in the bag. Basically, Jawa was turned to a Pokemon. He would stay in a bag of holding that was about 10 by 10 with him being a dwarf. And they would give him a bottle of air. So he could breathe, he would have the ball of air to his mouth so he could breathe. And they would basically, whenever he got there, he would magically jump, they would throw the bag out and he would jump out and attack whatever was there. They also, they also explained in a way that the reason they did it was when there was times where they had to be quiet, since you ever wore full plate armor, it was easy for them to sneak around, everybody else sneak around, when he wasn't around, when he wasn't out to where people could hear the clanking of his full plate armor. So, Javo, now knowing that he's, but one night when I was away, the party decided to go to the Underdark. And this we'll call the guy who did this Apollo. It wasn't Apollo. Apollo at this point had died. But the guy who was playing him was still playing. So we'll continue to call him Apollo. So Apollo had decided that his character, who is now this character though, was human and couldn't see in the dark. And the underdark has no light. So he needs to find a way to see. So what he decided to do was, he decided to cast light, I believe, on his sword. Well, the party explained to him, hey, we're going to the Underdark. There is no light in the Underdark. You will stick out like a sore thumb. He's like, it'll be fine. Another person, the DM, brought in an NPC to tell him, hey, um... If you're questing, you probably don't want to go into the Underdark with light. It'll be fine. He he is ignoring what everyone's saying. And Javo, in this time, had a little bit of a problem. My problem as Javo was that whenever someone did something stupid, i throw a rock at them. I would just pick up a rock and full attack action, threw it with all my might, and hit them upside the head with. No matter where they were, I threw. And so, if this was to happen while I was there, I probably would throw a rock at them. But since I'm technically in the back and no one's listening to me in there, I basically don't find out till I make it there. So, I make it there from work and we're in the middle of a fight. And I'm trying to figure out why we're fighting Drow in the dark. Which has no problem with me because with me as a dwarf, I have dark vision. So I can see six feet around me in total darkness and just everything's in black and white. But everyone, so I can get caught up, explains to me what happened. As we're going to the undark. He did take everyone's advice. He heard what people said. He heard them say that it's not smart to have light on in the Underdark. 
Does that make it to where he didn't cast light when he went down to the underdark? No. What that does is he decides to take a blanket or tissue or something like that and basically cover up to where only thing it would do would just light the ground. Mind you, we are still in the underdark where there is no light. So, we can they continue down the underdark and they got ambushed. They got ambushed and once they got ambushed, Javo had a lot to say once I finally got awake and realized what happened. And I think I did throw a rock at him at that point. After we found a way to get the hell out of the Underdark and out of the custody of the Drow because they were about to kill us. Because Drow are evil and they don't like outsiders. In some way we were able to get our weapons and fought our way out of there and that is not a stupid moment in DM it. That is just dumb ideas of a character. But do you see also the DM let us let him do something so there's so many words come to mind. Stupid, idiotic, ridiculous, um the party should have killed him just because that could have put all of us literally in threat. Like, I would have been very upset if Java would have died at that point. But, um, yeah, that's not, that was just my, another frustrating moment in playing.